You're watching Terrier Vision. Inside Wofford Football with Coach Mike Ayers and the voice of the Terriers, Mark Hauser. We've worked hard this week. We need to come out and play our game. Everybody knows it. I constantly keep hearing, man, you got a good team. Man, you got a good team. Boy, they play hard. But then there's a caveat, and well, you really don't have that many players. You got some, but you're not loaded. I think we're loaded. I think we're loaded. I know we're loaded because I've seen what you can do. I've seen how hard you've worked. I've seen what commitment you make. And I know this. It's not what's on the outside that defines this group right here. It's right there and right there. Let's get it done today. Let's get it done today. Tomorrow, we'll take care of tomorrow, but get it done today. Your focus, your will, your desire, your commitment today on this ball game. I'll see you down there. Welcome into Paladin Stadium here in Greenville, where this sunny Saturday afternoon, the Wofford Terriers look for a fifth straight victory as they take on their SOCON rivals, the Furman Paladins. Wofford ranked fourth in the latest FCS coaches poll nationally, sitting at 5-1 and one overall, 3-0 and oh in league play, while Furman, coming off a loss to Georgia Southern on the road a week ago, enters at 3-3 three and 2-2 three and two and two in the league. The Terriers have won three of the last for head-to-head -head meetings, including a 38-17 win last year in Spartanburg, a game in which Eric Breitenstein ran for 230 yards and four touchdowns. Can the Terriers make it two in a row over the Paladins? Here are your highlights. Third and seven Terriers at their 29 on the right hash. They go back to the wing bone with Breitenstein the fullback. Man in motion near side. Play action. Mitts with a high throw to the far side. It is caught. A leaping catch by Burson who is hit immediately at the 36 yard line, but it looks like he's got enough for the first down. Wing to the right, wide out to either side, and motion left goes in. And again, Allen out of the gun. Furman three down linemen, four on the line of scrimmage. Hand off Breitenstein, churns right up the gut again and takes it down to the 35 yard line. So he gets six more. Third down and a yard. Terriers at the Paladin 32. Again from the wing bone. They're going to run the end around the reverse. There's the toss to Burson. First down and more. He's to the 25. Far side 20. Caught from behind at the 18. A first down run for Brenton Burson. Second and seven at the Paladin 15. Terriers trailing 7 0. Five and a half minutes to play in the first quarter. Wofford out of the wing bone. Yeoman in motion left. Hand off up the gut. Breitenstein, good yards. He's to the 10. He's to the 5. He'll be slung down about the two and a half. First and goal. Second and goal from the one. Allen out of the gun with two backs. And he's going to hand it away. Donovan Johnson, right side. He's in. Touchdown, Terriers. 4-17 remaining in the first quarter. Both teams have had a possession. Both teams have scored a touchdown. Wofford 7, Furman 7. This is third and four from the Terrier 40. Offset eye, Williams the deep man. Two receivers left, toss to Williams. Wants to make left corner. Terrier string it out, and he's going to be knocked backwards at the 43-yard line. Mike Nyam was the first man there. They lose yards. It is fourth and long. We played 15 minutes of SoCon football here in Greenville. Sixth play of the drive coming up for Furman. 4CA under center as they hustle up to the line. Split backs, hand off right side touchdown run Gerotus Williams Furman back on top Paladin second and seven from their 44 ball in the center of the field they go out of the eye with two receivers left for CA up under center gonna run the option to the right there's the pitch away to McLeod and he is hammered down for no gain right at the 44 boy the Terriers were waiting third and six from the 44 and a half in the Paladin end of the field Two receivers left, one to the right. Forcier drops the shotgun snap, and he'll be taken down at the 35. Amet Paul has his first sack of the year. 
Your halftime score here at Paladin Stadium in Greenville. The Furman Paladins 13 and the Wofford Terriers 7. Terriers break the huddle in a hurry. Perhaps they want to get the tempo moving a little quicker. Second and four from the 21. Again out of the gun, Allen. Again a handoff. Straight ahead. Brighton sign. Breaks tackles. He's to the 30. He's to the 35. Finally dragged down from behind at the 45-yard line. Under 11 minutes to play in the third quarter. Terriers down 13-7. Fourth and two from the Furman 34 and a half yard line. Terriers this time go out of the wing bone with Breitenstein as the fullback wide outs either side. No tight ends. Fake of the dive. Allen toss near corner. Donovan Johnson not going to make it or check it. It's Yeoman and he didn't make it. They hurry up to the line, third and goal from the two, left hash, offset eye, play action for CA, throws to the back of the end zone, caught, touchdown. It's Colin Anderson, the tight end. Terriers send wide outs either side, a wing to the right, Joseph Inman, Allen out of the gun with Breitenstein flanking him to his right, Furman with four on the line of scrimmage, handoff, sweep to the left, Breitenstein to the 50, gets by a man there, makes the 45, and he'll be rolled down at the 42 by Kaderin Anderson. First and 10 at the Paladin 42-yard line left hash. Wide right Burson, wide left Andrew Young in motion right the tight end Inman. Out of the gun Allen with two backs. Hand off Breitenstein, right side, has a hole, takes it to the 35, all the way down to the 33. First and 10 from the Paladin, 17 following the walk off, back to the wing bone, and it's a fake of the dive. Allen curls up behind right side of the line, has a good hold of the 15, lowers the boom down to the 10, and that'll be your final play of this third quarter. Now as we start the fourth quarter, Terriers now go left to right, second and three from the 10. Two receivers left, a wing to the left, hand off Donovan Johnson, right side will push the pile forward to the five, and it's gonna be first and goal. Third and goal at the five. Furman fans on their feet. Two receivers left, one to the right. It's Ashley. Allen out of the gun with a single back to his left. It's Breitenstein. He'll get the handoff. Weaves his way through into the end zone. Touchdown, Terriers. First and goal from the three out of the eye with two receivers right. Tight end lines up to the left. Handoff, ooh -ha. And the fullback will bull his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Paladins. Breitenstein has run for 125 yards today, but the Terriers haven't done enough. Out of the wing bone on first down. It's a toss far corner. Yeoman gets a kick out block, takes it to the 25 to the 30. That's a first down run out to the 31 as Brian Yeoman turns left corner. No, it's first and 15 from the 39. Two receivers right, one to the left, a wing to the right. Play action again for Mitch Allen. Throws over the middle, caught out of the backfield. Breitenstein jukes a man at the 45, far side to the 50. Breitenstein stays in bounds to the 40. Breitenstein still on his feet. They will mark him out of bounds at the Furman 31. What an effort on the reception by Eric Breitenstein. Under five minutes to play, Furman up by 12, 26 to 14, third and goal from the two. Out of the gun, Allen, a wing to the right, wide outs either side, hand off, Breitenstein, bulls his way in, that's a touchdown. Eric Breitenstein with a two yard touchdown run. The first and 10 from the 28. Ball on the right hash, again Furman out of the eye, again the toss, Williams wants to turn left corner with Uha out in front, and he is run down from behind and tripped up for no gain. What an effort by Alvin Ciano to dive and get him by the ankles. Third and 11 Paladins from the Terrier, 29 and a half. Two receivers go to the right, Cunningham is on the outside, Williams the deep man out of the eye. Terriers three linemen down. Toss sweep. Williams turns left corner but doesn't get much. Drags the pile with him to the 26. So it'll be fourth down and eight. One receiver to the right, one to the left. Again, they work out of the eye. Four CA. Turns. Handoff. Up man. Uha takes it left. And they are going to get stopped on downs as he is tackled at the 22-yard line. Kind of a bizarre play call by Bruce Fowler and the Furman offense. So now Wofford gets the ball on downs. All right, crowd on their feet. They're going nuts. Fourth and eight Terriers from the 25. You need it or it's over. 120 to play. Clock is running. Trips left a single man to the right. 
Allen from the gun takes the snap, drops to throw under fire. He's going to scramble. He pumps. He heaves it deep downfield, and it is incomplete. Your final score here from Paladin Stadium in Greenville, the Furman University Paladins 26 and the Watford College Terriers 21. Coach, uh, Furman just seemed to be able to run the ball in that they second did. half. Uh, they ran the ball extremely well. Uh, we just couldn't seem to slow them down. Uh, they got on the perimeter with the toss sweep, and then they ran the lead play uh, to our uh, shade five side just about all day. And uh, they, they did a nice job picking and choosing when they threw the ball, and uh, they uh, they, they had a great plan for us. I think uh, defensively, they did a nice job of defending us, but we were our own worst enemy. Uh, way too many penalties. Uh, I'm not sure how many holding calls that they gave us, but uh, Lord have mercy. It seemed like every time that we made a big play, they, they gave us a holding call. But uh, it's, uh, it is what it is. It's a loss. And uh, what we've got to do is uh, regroup. Uh, I told the guys in the locker room, I said, the only, only people that are, have the ability to fix this is us. And uh, we'll get back to work tomorrow, and, and uh, we, we've got to improve. What, did you, what do you think needs to be fixed the most? Well, I, I think, we, first of all, we've got to stop beating ourselves with, with, uh, with the penalties. Uh, you, you can't uh, expect to be behind in the sticks first and 20. It's, it's doesn't work. It doesn't work. We're not a real good first and 20 team. I don't know anybody that's a good first and 20 team. But uh, you know, we, we had uh, we had some plays that that were uh, good, and uh, we we had some plays that, quite frankly, were were on the other side of good. And uh, I, there's no doubt in my mind that the kids came to compete. Uh, they went hard. We. Uh, we had uh, three guys that uh, got injured uh, in our halfbacks, and we were down to the few, the proud and the brave. And uh, then uh, we lost, uh, I think, one guy on uh, the defensive side. So uh, it was a very physical football game. Uh, I, I think that, uh, that there's no doubt that, that uh, Firm did a great job. So with today's loss, the Terriers tumble to 5-2 and two overall, now 3-1 and one in the Southern Conference. Things don't get easier next week as Wofford returns home for their homecoming at Gibbs Stadium as they will play host to the Elon Phoenix. Kickoff is 1.30. I'm Mark Hauser. Thanks for watching Terrier Vision.